Hey guys, this is Melissa with ProjectNursery.com. Now we've been partnering with Cricut to bring some great DIY content, but I want to share a personal story and it's about my nursery. So when I received my Cricut Explorer Air, I was so excited to create something special for my daughter Emmy's nursery. Now with every child, I really took the time, energy, and love to create personal crafts and projects in their rooms. But with Emmy, I immediately thought of these beautiful rose flowers that I found on an iron wreath while doing some research online. And I wanted to bring this project into her room. I loved it and I really hope she grows to love it too. Now, I mentioned earlier iron. Iron's not a great wall hanging to hang above a crib. So I immediately thought of my Cricut Explorer and I thought that I could cut some beautiful roses and use that for the wreath and hang it directly above her crib and look at it every day. So I'm gonna take a minute to show you how to create the same beautiful roses for your next nursery or project inspiration. Let me show you how it's done. First, I'm going to remove my mat from the machine. Now I've pre-cut my flowers and you can learn how to do this too just by following the link below in the description. So now to remove the flowers, I'm gonna teach you a trick. I'm gonna rock the mat back and forth and look at this, the flowers lift off beautifully. And believe it or not, these are gonna become gorgeous little roses. So now that I have my spiral cutouts, I'm gonna make them look a little bit more realistic. I love the fact that these are 3D. I think they really stand out. I'm gonna use the end of my Cricut tool here. Um, comes in really handy. And then I just, I just slowly take my thumb, and this is really quite therapeutic, <laughs> actually to do in front of the TV at night perfect while nesting, and I'm just bending back each petal. And I go around the entire spiral, and it just gives it a, a more sophisticated, realistic look. So now that I've bent back the petals of my flower, I'm actually just gonna start rolling from the outside, and I'm gonna create a tight little roll. And I'm just gonna keep on rolling so the entire petal is nice and tight. This is very relaxing, believe it or not, and the net result is a really beautiful little rose. You're gonna notice that there's a tab at the end. So see the spiral here? This is what you're looking for. And you're gonna place the flower on top of this tab. And before I glue it together, I'm gonna release the flower a bit so it spirals open. And now that it's open and it's the perfect size, I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun I'm gonna add a little glue to the bottom here of that tab, and I'm just gonna glue it together by holding it in place, and there you go, the rose. So once I had about two dozen roses, it was time to prep my branches. I purchased these green branches at a local craft store, and I spray painted them white for a monochromatic look. Next, I just hot glued each rose to the branches, and that was it, a very simple project. So if you like what you saw today, you're gonna love what's coming up next. Check out the link below for more great projects.